What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Freddy. Welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today we're going to be jumping in and be checking out the gameplay review trailer for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Let's jump right in, grade the trailer at the end, and talk about it. Okay. Let's make sure they don't see the sunrise. The, the team is back. As expected. That is prison 100%. Oh, this is gameplay gameplay. Oh, okay. That is definitely Verdant's prison. We're sneaking into prison. We're in position. Yep. Let's go. All right. Zip line. I don't need a map of this place, man. I know this place. Oh. What was there? There was something on the helipad. He knows you're coming. Oh, there's like a, a inside. Okay. I remember. I remember this place. It's like. Oh, okay. Breaking somebody out. This is devastation on a global scale. Yep. We have two missiles incoming. If you are there, oh. get out. It's coming to the stadium. Vigil on target. We need men back now. The campaign. Oh. A world war. The campaign is taking place in Verdant. It's like 100%. No Russian. Oh. Yo, no rushing is gonna be happening on a plane instead of at the airport. Pre-order the vault edition. Of course. And get the Nemesis operator pack. <laughs> the Fate weapon falls. The Ooh. season one black cell oh, bundle. Okay. Fifty tier skips. Okay. All right. A lot of stuff. Okay. As far as gameplay and how good it looks, this looks great. I, nothing, nothing less from Call of Duty, though, right? We're not expecting a bad-looking COD campaign game. Like, looking at this, and this might be, like, the intro, like, gameplay. We're swimming into Verdan's prison, breaking somebody out. Of course. Of course. The trailer's hype. That trailer's hype. To me, as a gameplay reveal trailer, it kind of makes sense. We don't need a super cinematic you know showcase they kind of did that with the name reveal but we knew it was going to be call of duty modern warfare 3 this trailer for me let me see what was on that airport for a second this trailer for me i do like the fact that we're seeing campaign stuff and i do enjoy the, the introduction to these characters again even though we just had them again last year as far as of what are their motives moving into the third Modern Warfare game. It's good to get that pushed out so we can be clear on that in trailer form. I just kind of wish we knew the details if, like, is this going to be a war? Are we going back to Verdant? Because this is definitely prison Verdant. There's the entrance. You got the helipad. You got the, like, little section over here. The house thing where it's like a... It was like something on top of here. This might be a new way to access, you know, up here and stuff like that. This looks crazy. I, I can't wait. It, it Even if this is just campaign stuff, which to be honest, if it is just campaign stuff, that is, that's going to, that, I'm going to enjoy the campaign, but come on, bro. Don't make all of this in engine and just not give it to us, bro. <laughs> like, come on, come on. And this, in prison, this this is what I remember the prison, like, set up as multiple floors. There's, like, a little thing in the middle, and you just, like, make your way going down and shit like that. But to see it, like, occupied, crazy. Dope. Dope. Can't wait. Can't wait for the campaign. Sneak through this shit and, and kill people or let the prisoners free or even some locked up because i'm pretty sure we're not going to be getting everybody out this bitch this ice glacier part is crazy plane crash so that's probably like the no russian thing that we see we see here ghosts making an appearance and this is the dam yeah this is the dam right this is the i remember there's a building on top of the dam on one side the dam itself just don't remember the water being there 
<laughs> That's what's throwing me off is the water. There's actually like water here. Obviously, with this new engine of Call of Duty, I'm guessing we're gonna have water missions again. Water in Verdance in Warzone? That'd be epic. That would be epic. Especially if they give us Verdance and it's fucking nighttime like this, bro. Come on, give it to us. Give it to us. We get some daytime sh shots of price. And we get to see stadium burn down as daytime here. This is happening in the um, parking lot of her dance the, in the stadium. My son gave up. My son got shot or something and just gave up on life. Look at him. He's gone. He's going to die as the third one. This is the ending. He's going to get shot or something. Soap and uh, somebody else is going to have to finish Farah. They're going to have to finish the fight for price. And then that's it. And then we get the pre-order bullshit at the end where it's like, hey, Spend $100 today and get everything you want from Call of Duty. Which is kind of pretty cool. To me, I was going to buy the, the, the Black Cell Battle Pass and the game. So, technically, if I buy that, I yeah, it's basically the price of all this. So, I think that's cool for players like me that was going to do it anyway. Rating the trailer, I'm still a hard one because I, I want to say it's an 8. And I'm going to stick to that. I'm going to stick to the eight. I just feel like there, of course, there's room to improve. I just didn't see the 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 heightness level. I want to see a multiplayer trailer. I want to see boots on the ground. I want to see them running. They say slide canceling is back. I want to see slide canceling. I want to see the feel and the movement of the game. I feel like that while this is a good cinematic trailer, it was kind of cinematic cinematic in uh, gameplay wise. It's showing gameplay, but it felt cinematic. All these scenes feel like super, you know, staged and rehearsed. Nothing seemed like, oh, I'm playing a mission and I, oh, I might fuck up type shit, which they're not going to do in the trailer anyway. But again, Call of Duty looks like Call of Duty. I can't wait to check it out. Let me know what you would give it in the comment section below like always guys i answer all comments so let's have that conversation down there if you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button i do videos like this every day talking cold duty let me know your thoughts in the comments peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys in the next one